So we have Sylvie here with us today and Sylvie is absolutely beautiful but I wanted to talk about a few interesting features about Sylvie. Come on down, let's have a look at her. Sylvie has this beautiful grey and white speckled colouring which is absolutely gorgeous. Now at first glance most people would refer to this colouring like um, a silver agouti or call it a silver agouti. Some people say agouti, some agouti. Um, but quite naturally people would, would refer to her in that way. But on closer inspection you'll notice that there's these white patches right throughout. They're not solid, they're sort of speckled. So if we look more around here at her rump you'll notice it's sort of a misty mixed combination colour in here. So it's a very evident feature to look for. We call that a roan gene that's being carried by the guinea pig in order to get that effect. If guinea pigs like this are bred from, they have a really high percentage risk that they will have young that are lethals. Now a lethal is a guinea pig that is born with a deformity or in fact may be born dead. So the chance of having those young it's I think for memory it's about 25% one in four so it's very high and you know to risk an animal like this carrying or creating deformities in other animals is really a horrible thing to think of so while these animals look really really pretty they do carry a darker side when it comes to when it comes to carrying genetics how do we tell a roan carrier if you come closer what you'll see when we open her coat is hair that is solid in color with the white tipping which is the silver agouti coloring but you'll notice every now and then like right here in front of my finger a white a solid white hair and you'll see a few of them there's another one down here another one here as they flip past the solid white hairs in amongst the colouring of an animal is how we identify the roan gene. Let's have a look at her buddy, shall we? And this is her buddy, Jaffa. Let's have a look at Jaffa. Isn't she pretty? Jaffa is another gorgeous girl. And these two girls reside together. They're, they're really, really pretty. Jaffa, if we take a closer look at her coat, you'll see how mottled the effect is of the hair that she has and again if we look on closer examination looking right in at the coat you will notice there look there's one right under my finger a white hair interspersed with the other colors so she's also a roan genetically roan carrying can you pick can you see the white hair mm -hmm. I hope they're showing up so you can spot them but guinea pigs like this um, really do carry, carry a genetic problem that if they're bred from, the chances of having babies that are deformed and have serious problems like malocclusion, um, it simply can be avoided. In rescue, we, we really don't support breeding anyway. It's not necessary. There's so many of these little piggies out there. But um, that's a little bit of information about the Roan gene that hopefully helps inform you about what it is, how to identify it, and more specifically, what happens if these animals carry that gene forward. So, hope you're all doing well out there. Please like and subscribe, follow down below, um, post to your friends, and we'll have more information for you soon. Take care. Bye for now.